Welcome to another elimination tattoo. This week, we're testing balance. Impress us, and you'll have another week to show us why you deserve to be named Ink Master. Fail, and you'll be packing up and heading home. And don't forget, you'll be judged by all of America. Each week, viewers at home will vote for the tattoo that they think is best, using the same criteria that the judges use. And today, we also have a very special guest judge. He owns two of the most well-known tattoo shops in the world. He's won hundreds of awards for tattooing and art and is one of the leading Japanese tattooers in the industry. Mike Rubendahl. Oh. I'm known for my contemporary approach on traditional Japanese tattoo design. The images have very specific symbolism and rules that tattooers need to follow to stay true to the art form. Mike Rubendahl is a living legend. Thank you very much for joining us, man. You, Appreciate it. Man. That brings us to this week's elimination tattoo. Japanese. Oh, f Japanese, god damn it. Every meaning on every piece is gonna be brought up. It has to be perfect or we're screwed. Rooted in mythology and natural symbols, Japanese tattoos convey a balance of power and beauty through natural imagery. In Japanese style, there's an even distributional weight throughout the piece. If it's off, it can really make somebody's body look awkward. Let's meet your canvases. Today, we have two Bellator fighters. My name is Brent Weedman. I'm a professional fighter. I spent a bit of time in Japan training martial arts. I wanted to have something to represent that part of my life. My name is Lloyd. A lot of fighters have tattoos. I only have one on my back, which is a cupcake. This will be my first Japanese tattoo. It's cupcake. I don't know what the he wants. Don't really care. That's all I want a tattoo. Jamie, because you won the Flash Challenge, you now have the power to assign all human canvases. You can upset the balance of power. Be ruthless. I consistently have gotten the most difficult tattoo. Time to switch it up a little. Think about uh, a koi transforming into a dragon. I want to get rid of the middle class. Sarah, Clint, and Sebastian, even though they are falling behind, they still have the potential to do a really good tattoo and shine. I would hope to widen the gap between myself and the middle people. I'd like a, a deity on my right thigh. Anything in particular? Yes, it's called a Daruma doll. All right. I'm open on the right leg. No particular ideas? Anything that spells fighting or is badass, I'm into. Okay. Uh, dragon. Jamie's gunning for me. I came after his so he's gonna come after mine. I know I'm Canvases, one by one, please reveal the name on the bottom of your skull. Tattoo baby. Jamie. Steve. I get the muscle guy. He wants a koi dragon, which I am not a big fan of. This could be a really fucked up tattoo. Sarah. Sebastian. Yes. I actually got the canvas that I wanted to have. Thanks a lot, buddy. Jesse. Clint. I fucked Clint over by giving him a dragon again after he got chewed up so bad on the chaps. My most brilliant move to date. Fantastic, thanks dude. You have the rest of the evening to consult with your human canvas. Tomorrow, you'll have six hours to complete your Japanese tattoo. And based on your work, one of you will be closing shop. Good luck.